Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four Strings Drummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. Today we're going to be working on an old time classic called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? We're going to do a basic version of this, so if you're only a three chord player, this is perfect. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, we're going to amp it up a little bit more further on into the video, and I'm going to show you how to do a chord melody instrumental. Alright, let's get into it. All right, so let's take a look at the chords. So we're going to play this one in the key of G. So we're going to start off here in G. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord? And you go up to C. By and by, back to G. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord. Up to D, in the sky, and back to G. And that's how the entire song goes. All right, let's take a look at some strumming options now. So, again, if you're just getting started out, folks, uh, our paintbrush strum is awesome for this one. So it's just hit it with your thumb and brush the rest with your fingers, just like that. Paint, brush, two equal parts. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw them us come rolling for to carry my mother away nice and simple and uh, and it sounds really good with this tune all right the other one that you can do here of course is you can Use your um, sledgehammer strum, which is very much the same as the paintbrush strum. Again, those of you that have been around, you know these, these strums. So if you want to click ahead, I'll put a little time stamp to uh, the, next, um, the next chapter. But this is how you do the sledgehammer strum. So it's a sort of a three-part one. So instead of paintbrush, you've got sledgehammer. So here's the difference. So it's paintbrush. This one is, starts the same. Sledge. You brush again hammer and you come back up sledge hammer so the second part of where it was brush is now hammer so you come back up i was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day and you can alternate between those two strums if you want to so you could do the verse uh, with just um, your paintbrush strum and if you wanted to do the sledgehammer strum for the chorus you could do something like that as well all right so the other strum that you'll see me doing in this one and this is optional is the bluegrass strum what I call the bluegrass strum so basically here's what it sounds like well, I will stand in by my wind and you can see I switch it back to sledgehammer or paintbrush as well so I don't do the whole song with that strum but here's the basics of this strum it's um, a paintbrush strum to start with okay paintbrush and then we do a double strum brush double strum and paintbrush double strum and paintbrush double strum put down 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 up down up down 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 up down up down down okay so i'll put a link to bluegrass strum i've done a specific video on how to do that one as well so you can check out that and again you might want to just kind of throw that in every once in a while you'll see when i play the song through when we all play together that i'll use that every once in a while too all right let's take a look now if you want to amp it up a little bit more into how i do the chord melody part all right here we go all right so for the chord melody what i'll do here is i'll play it through for you and uh, and then you can hear it you can get it into your ear one of the most important things about learning chord melody i think is getting the tune in your head first okay so let me play it through for you here we go so we start in g All 
right? Now, let me show you how we do it. So again, we start in G, and the first note that you've got here is on your third string, and um, just where your first finger, you just leave it right there, and then you drop your pinky finger at the fourth fret on the third string. I will stand in. So it's, again, I will stand and now what I do is I strum down. So it's this note. The first string is what you want, so you kind of tend to strum down the bottom three strings, not so much the top one. Then you lift your second finger off the first string. Okay. Lift, drop. You strum them all. Again, let's start from the beginning. I will stand in by the window on a cold. And then you go to C. And when you go to C, you take your second finger here and you drop it at the third fret on the second string. Oh. Take your pinky finger and you run it up to the fifth fret on the second string. Go and play me. Back to G. Then you basically do the same thing again. When I, when I. So we start again here. You, you really want to get that third string sound because that's your note. When I, and then you go up to the. Um, fourth fret on the third string. When I saw that first... And you go up to the uh, fifth fret on the first string. First come and then you go to the fifth fret on the second string. Go to your D. Way. Now on this one, you've got choices. You can go. So you can go to the second uh, fret on the first string, or you can go to the fourth fret on the fourth string. All right, let's start from the beginning. Now, if you want to get a little bit more specific about the notes, that's fine. You can almost you can almost sort of pick it as you play it. So you pick the individual note. The more you pick the individual note, um, the less background sound you're going to have. It sounds a little bit more hollow, but it sounds a little bit more precise. If you don't want to be so precise, that's fine. You can just strum your way through the um, through the chord melody. Um, it doesn't sound quite as precise note for note, um, but it still fills in the background, and um, you end up with a little bit less of that sort of a hollow sound, if you know what I mean. Okay, um, so it's just where you want to be on that continuum sort of on that scale okay you can do it so it almost sounds like a claw hammer kind of a note for note sort of a sound or you can strum it through and give yourself a little bit more uh, of a backtrack if you know what I'm saying all right let's uh, try this out because it's a lot of fun and this is a good song to do it with again it's just three chords and you basically stay anchored on those chords while you're doing the chord melody as well. So it's just a matter of lifting and dropping your fingers as you're strumming it through, okay? Now, let's all get together here. We're gonna move ahead. We're gonna play the song through. So whatever level you're at, folks, 
just jump in and play. If you're just still in that strumming stage, strum along. If you want to do that chord melody all the way through and not sing, give that a whirl. If you want to sing along, do that too. All right, let's try it out. Here we go. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that earth come rolling for to carry my mother away. We'll circle the unbroken by and by. By and by, there's a bed on waiting in the sky, Lord, in the Well, I told that undertaker, undertaker, please drive slow for that body that you're holding. Lord, I hate to see her go. Will the circle be unbroken by and by? I'm waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Seeds were emptied one by one, they went away. Now that family, they are parted, will they meet again one day? Will the circle be unbroken by and by? I'm waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Well, there's another classic tune to add to your repertoire and something you can play around with from basic to a little bit more of an advanced version. All right, if you folks are liking these videos, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. It really helps me out and it shows me that you are enjoying the videos. Um, I love making them for you guys. I love the feedback. I love the comments. If you've got any questions at all, feel free, drop it down into the comments section. I'm always more than happy to help you out. Don't forget to join our new Facebook group. It's growing in leaps and bounds, and it's just filled with really positive-minded ukulele people. No drama, no negativity. That's what we're all about. All right, until we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun, maybe with one of these videos right over here. Bye for now.